Tonight, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley is doubling down, saying she has no plans to drop out of the Republican presidential primary, even though former President Donald Trump has an overwhelming lead, although a future ruling from the Supreme Court could impact the future of his campaign. ABC's Zorin Shah has the story. Republican candidate Nikki Haley refusing to leave the race, despite trailing former President Donald Trump by double digits in her home state of South Carolina. I'm not afraid to say the hard truths out loud. I feel no need to kiss the ring. I have no fear of Trump's retribution. I'm not looking for anything from him. The former two-term South Carolina governor in a major speech said voters deserve a real choice. Trump firing back. You're not supposed to lose your home state. Shouldn't happen anyway, and she's losing it big. big. Trump enjoying the front-runner status despite facing massive legal trouble. New York Attorney General Letitia James exclusively telling ABC's Aaron Katursky that Trump could lose property if he does not pay $355 million in legal penalties. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. A New York judge found Trump committed a decade of fraud and exaggerated how much he was worth in exchange for lower interest loans. Trump insisting the penalty would push business out of the state. And last I checked, tourism is up and Wall Street is doing just fine. And many eyes on the Supreme Court. The justices expected to announce their decision in the Trump v. Anderson case on whether Trump could be removed from the ballot in Colorado. The state's highest court previously ruled Trump could be barred from office over his role on January 6th. Zorin Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. Again, the Republican presidential primary in South Carolina is this Saturday. The Democratic primary took place earlier this month. So when do voters in Virginia and North Carolina head to the polls? Well, that would be March 5th, also known as Super Tuesday, when 14 states hold primaries on the same day. Early in-person voting is underway in both states. You can do that until Saturday, March 2nd.